talk about more email stuff. Uh, so um, we're probably gonna, oh, yeah, right, do it like this. Cool. Now we can see you, we can see your presentation, and you can see us. Okay, great. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what the email is it, what the uh, history of it, and how the like, people message and with each other now and in the past. So how it starts in the history of the humans, they all come using the different like uh, types of messaging to each other, not including like to a person who behind you, but also on the longer uh, distances, like uh, in the past, the smoke signal is very simple. We have the fire, we have the fluid, and after the smoke can make different like signals. Uh, it's used before, like for signals of new, like war started or like. Uh, there is a lot of water coming to the village, everything similar to base, which uh, not required uh, any like uh, additional things for it. It's very simple to see, and there is possibility to make the pipe from one to another, and in such way the information can come, like the short one, from one for longer distances, really fun. The after uh, people start to use the carrot pigeon, it's like a, if we have the bird, and after uh, connect this message to the bird, and birds flying from one place to another. It was a longer, but you can proceed with the uh, sentence. This will not maybe uh, secure messages for the other. The next one was uh, this message in the bottle. The cause of this method is that it's not predictable. We don't know where such bottle can come. Enemy, it can be destroyed on the road. The after was a telegram. Uh, it's already start to use the cables, radio signals, what they are. It was really fast, but uh, it required to each person to know this more code, and only with this knowledge they can use it. And it was not really simple for end user. And after the people uh, create the email, for now it's a most usable uh, type of sending the messages to each other. I not. Uh, mean the messages like in social network or in like messengers, they are not so important, it's more for like blah 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 in my opinion. Maybe other have own another opinion, but it's true for the important messages for now is an email or maybe SMS, but for a short one. Okay, so the history of email in general. In 2060, oh, sorry, 1965, the uh, MMAT is a, in the United States created the mail command. And this mail command works only the locally. Uh, what, what the reason for this is to show the message to another user of same system. The system, like computer system, was really huge, and in parallel there could be logged in like 100 users, whatever. And for some notices, like uh, dear uh, users, the server will be disconnected from the power in 10 minutes, something like this. Or one user wants to leave the message to another uh, for some proposes. 
after in 1971, uh, the first email, like, not us, we know, but in general, electronic message was sent through uh, network in ARPANET. It was a first step for email what we have right now. In 1973, uh, we got the extension for FTP protocol for all to our ability to send mail messages. It's uh, uh, really similar to the SMTP which we have now, but was a much simpler. Like you only read from one to whom you want to send the message and the text of this message. That's it. Uh, in 1979 uh, was created the UUCP protocol. It's, it's named the Unix uh, to Unix copy protocol. It gives the possibility to use the same mail command by but for sending messages from one host system to another in Unix only, and it was a perfect. Uh, uh, transport for messaging, short notifications or small piece of information. And only in 1982 we got the SMTP protocol as we know it now, mostly. There was a few changes, but in general it's the same what we have now. And in 1982, 83 was released the first uh, open source SMTP server. Uh, send mail. It uh, is the most usable SMTP server ever, and it supported not only SMTP but also UCP and like news groups, whatever. Use it in that time. But all time in email history, like even from the start, there start to be the problems in the messages. It's a spam. So the first mass marketing message was sent in 1988. It was a message from sales guy from digital equipment company to 400 people in the ARPA network. It was a first spam message. But before there was no such subject like a spam. It started to be in April of 1993 uh, and it was applied in Usenet. Uh, if somebody don't know, the Usenet is a small network for uh, short uh, messages which similar to the BBS, uh, what, uh, news messages. I don't know how to explain it more. And the first mass spam was sent in 1994, and it's, the message was sent to all Usenet groups, and it was on religion. The global art for all Jesus is coming soon. And after this started to be a lot of messages on commercial, they understand what, well, we can send message to everybody. And it started to be a problem for all world. And started from 1996, the engineer started to think how to resolve this issue of this spam messages. And first step was to create the mail abuse prevention system, which called now RBL. It's a simple database with IP addresses, and for each such IP address we have uh, some rating level. If such rating is going to be pool, then uh, such IP address will go to such list, and all SMTP service which support this will uh, not 
apply the any messages from this IP address. There is uh, one example which uh, know everybody in Ukraine is Kurt Telecom. Uh, there was a lot of viruses on the local machines and a lot of spam uh, messages were sent from Ukur Telecom, this ESDN network, which was uh, not good at all. And in 2001, uh, one guy created the spam assassin, as we know it. It's a parallel script which analyzed the content of email and marked it like a good, like a spam, and like a harm. It was a first step for checking the entire message of email. After in 2003, uh, uh, there was a two actions which was created. The first one is what is SPF, uh, and after it was a CAN spam act, which uh, was approved by the government of the United States, and there start to be a uh, low, uh, lower part of the spam. So it's given possibility to claim in court about the spam messages. But none of them helps a lot. The ESP, uh, SPF is a system which uh, given possibility to understand is that server uh, illegible to send email messages uh, from that domain. And that's it. Uh, it was not enough for checking. So in 2004, the the key was formed. Uh, the key is uh, was based on idea of Yahoo and Cisco that each message must be signed by public key. Uh, uh, sorry, by private key, and the public key was. Uh, Deliver it to DNS for or by every SMTP server. And the last step, which we know now, it's 2012. The DMARC standard was published. The DMARC standard uh, assumed what the sender must have and SPF and the key uh, on message and on server. So just now I show a little bit the logic how the uh, filters or system working. So how the SPF flow? So for example, we want to send a message from our domain like superdupa.com. So first of all, we need to uh, publish the DNS record which will tell, okay, uh, from this IP address or from this domain, we can send emails to everywhere. So when you send in the email, the receiving server checking, okay, there must be an SPF record in DNS. So if it exists, then we pass email to inbox. If not, then this mail was will be fully rejected as a spam. The the key flow is uh, much hard there because you need not only the public key and DNS, you also need to sign every message with your key. So in this case, receiving a mail service server will check not only the DNS record, it also will check, okay, there's uh, some list of SMTP or mind headers which I need to check with the public key. If all okay, then I can apply it on the next step. Uh, and the mark is a combining of all of this uh, SPF and DKIM. And also there is an additional uh, policy in DNS which tell what to do in case of DKIM or SPF is not validated properly. So uh, there's uh, how it's working right now. And 
if you want to set your message with bigger chance to users inbox you must to start to use SPF, VPN and DMARC policy in your DNS. Without it, uh, in 99% you will your message will go to spam. Whenever uh, everybody complained about it before for your domain or IP addresses or or not. Um, the general the sending of emails is subject is so big there's uh, so many metrics which you need to check like you need to look on the balance rate you need to look on the gray listing of each domain you need to check the many factors of your email to have it delivered to end user and i think in the future will be created the more strictly rules for all these things because we still uh, receive the spam. Uh, I, with the small uh, information for everybody for current situation with mail and where we will go. If you have a question, I will be ready to answer on that. Anybody? Questions? No? No? No, no questions? No? no. <laughs> it's so hard to understand. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Question? Oh, okay, we have a question. Uh, hi, Alex. It was interesting information, but how do you think? Is there a sense to create some uh, alternative to emails in the future because if right now we have a, a lot of issues with spam, this uh, uh, this mechanism how to check uh, emails. What do you think? Is there a sense to create something new protocol for that? Mm. Sorry, I do not hear the part of your like message or question. Can you repeat, please? Okay. Or maybe Stas can repeat it to me. Uh, how do you think? Uh, is there a sense create an uh, alternative uh, for emails uh, in the future? Because right now we have a lot of issue. Uh, spams, is checkers for spam. What do you think about it? How do you think? I, I think they will be the same, like, what, what the reason for this? If you look on Viber, uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp message, they all of them have the same trouble. Like, when the marketers start to use it with them, it starts to be a mess with the uh, such marketing messages. And there's not a problem of the message systems it's a problem of the combining of usable pink and of streaks of them so for example if we will have a strict message system it will be unusable for end user like even if we will use uh, encryptions it will be usable only for one to one but again, anyone can open similar one-to-one -one, like channel and send you everything. Like there's only way to do it. If understand is this person or like server is illegal to send the message to you. It's first step, and second step is to check is this message is good or not. For example, for now. In Telegram, you are able to send a porn video on iOS, but you be able to do it in Android. Because on iOS, there is already like strict checking of your messages, even if it's encrypted. So if you want to build that system, maybe a few months, 
it will be without any spawn. But after uh, you will have enough amount of users, you will start to get these spam messages in general. The only reason how to not receive them is to have a uh, policy of strict blocking. But again, like you will block the user for a, every like uh, spam message. If you got the first spam message, then you will be blocked. In this case, uh, after some time, everyone will be blocked. Okay, thank you. No user, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like this. Alright, any more questions? No questions. No questions? Ah, no. No, I have one question. Uh, regarding, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so, the uh, game flow is like uh, when you um, generate a private uh, key and then uh, send in each message which public key. And this result uh, on uh, on the CCP server, so it's not blocked uh, your email from your domain. Uh, and uh, SPF, it, it's like uh, some. I am not sure that I got the idea. So SPF, it's more like uh, uh, a list of bl uh, blocked emails or something like that. And the, the uh, and the uh, the come. Yeah, so it's combined these two parts. And uh, uh, will the CAM, uh, if you implement the CAM, yeah, and uh, unblock, uh, you are not blocked, uh, registered on blacklist, uh, you uh, send in each message with some public key. So will it uh, guarantee that each email will be uh, in top priority of uh, users' emails or something like that? Is it true? No, it, it no, it's not a guarantee. So it's just totally. it's just the case. It, because okay. because uh, there is also another thing. It's like email spoofing. It's when everyone can send the email from his domain, uh, and you will see the reply to of the person who sent it. For example, the many marketing system using the email spoofing. So they send the emails from own domain. When you receive such message in Gmail.